here we have an iPhone 8 Plus, mailed in from San Diego, California, about uh, three hours away from us. I discovered your business on YouTube and been watching your videos for some time. I purchased this phone, 8 Plus, from a friend and did not use it till one day. Phone will not charge and I'm not able to turn it on. Replace the battery and so phone did not turn on. Okay, so the phone does not turn on. Customer tried a new battery and still is not able to power it on. The first thing I want to do, this is the phone right here. Okay, the first thing I want to do is let's check amps being drawn by the phone. I want to know if there's any charge going in to the battery. So we're going to be using this amp meter here. This video is going to be a voiceover. I lost audio for this video and I'm just talking over the video so I can still upload it. I just removed the board from the iPhone 8 Plus. We are interested in looking at the back of the board. We're going to remove that black shield that's on the back. And now what I want to do is use the red meter to connect it directly onto the board. We're going to disconnect the battery, disconnect the charging flux cable. We do not want those to be in the equation and we're going to connect the red meter directly onto the board and power it on. We're going to monitor the board under a thermal cam to see what gets hot. Let's monitor the board under the thermal cam to see where the short is coming from. And look at this. We have two heat spots on the board. Possibly the Tigris chip and something else. So here, what if we zoom in 4x on the thermal imager?
And let's see. Oh, look at this. One component, the tiny heat spot on the right, and the Tigris chip itself. That's the Tigris chip. Now, if you notice, heat is not lasting on the board because the meter is shutting off after a few seconds because of the short. But we have two heat spots. There's a very good chance that the Tigris chip is good, but the capacitors here that are getting hot may be causing the short. The capacitor down on the bottom looks discolored. So we're going to start by removing the capacitors to see if they are causing the problem. It's a lot easier replacing the capacitors than the IC. If we remove the capacitors and we no longer have a short, then that's our problem. These are VDD main capacitors. So it's a major line on the phone. Let's start by removing the first one. So removing the first one did not fix the short. We're going to remove the second one. If you notice how the second one is discolored, so most likely this capacitor is what's causing the short. Okay, And the capacitor just snapped right off. It pushed that small capacitor on the left side, but that's not a problem. Okay, do we still have a short? And we do not have a short. No short on the board. You're not gonna hear anything because this is a voiceover. I'm just letting you know what happened. By removing those two capacitors, we no longer have a short. So the problem is coming from the capacitor on the right side. And now all we have to do is test. Now this video has audio because I changed the batteries on the microphone but uh, I hate when this happens I record the video everything is going well and then I find out that the video does not have an audio and the device is fixed anyway you got the point two areas got hot on the board the ticker strip and that small area which is pointing to those two capacitors we removed the capacitor on the left it did not solve the problem we still had a short I removed the second capacitor and the problem is gone so our problem is the capacitor I did not test the phone yet, but I want to show you where that capacitor lies on the board. If you notice, based on the board diagram here, this capacitor is a VDD main cap. So this is a major voltage line on the phone, and that's why the short was so high, 3 amps. Removing this capacitor solved the issue. All we have to do is test to make sure the phone is working. I'm just plugging the red meter onto the phone. If you remember, the red meter was showing us 3 amps draw before. Okay, it's connected. Right now the phone should boot normally unless there's something else wrong with the phone. So, let's see. We're going to power the meter on. And press and hold the power button. And look at this. I mean, oh, look. <laughs> phone is working this is the normal amperage rate being drawn by the phone it starts at 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.5 it goes over 1 amps and then it settles back down right now it's at uh, 0 0.5 it's going up to 1.2 and look at this the phone is working okay should we test touch phone is working so so the hardest part about this repair is the voiceover that's it we were able to easily figure out where the short is coming from but when I found out we did not have a voice on the video I 
got a little bit angry. I had to do a voiceover. I may not have done the best voiceover, but at least we can upload this video to show you that this phone is fixed. I'm going to replace those two capacitors and uh, we're going to invoice the customer and ship it back to him. Now, some of you may ask, what's the difference between this meter and this meter? We were not able to find the short when we tested on this meter, but we were able to do so when testing on this meter. The white meter plugs in to the phone from the bottom and uh, the voltage goes into the charging flex cable onto the board. So it looks like the charging flex cable, the circuit under, may prevent the meter from reading what's on the board because of the short. It just cuts everything off because of the short. But when we eliminate the battery and the flex cable from the board and we plug this meter directly onto the board, that's how we were able to find that the board had a short on it. Uh, a 3 amp short will generate a lot of heat. So the next step was to look under the thermal cam to see what's getting hot on the board. We noticed two areas, the big area and the small area. Small area was pointing to the capacitors. The big area was pointing to the Tigra strip. So which is easier to change? Capacitors. We got rid of the two capacitors and our short was gone. The phone is working and everything is good. And for those of you wondering where to buy this meter, we have it on our website. Time to go home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.